Welcome to the Cleric Show, day number 290. Wow, this project is just zooming by. I'm so excited. Today is tutorial day. I will teach you guys how to make a poker chip appear out of thin air. This is a trick I teach all the time in my summer magic classes. It's very, very popular amongst the kids, and I see the dads kind of smirking as well when I teach it. All right, check it out. All you need for this trick is an empty paper bag. It could be examined. You'd hand it out. You'd get someone to examine it, and um, it looks like this. Check it out. Here's the idea to grab an invisible poker chip right there, as you can see, and you throw it in the air, wait for it, it lands in the bag, the appearing poker chip. Ha <laughs> ha! Pretty cool, yeah? Okay, so how do you do this? This is actually really, really, really simple. Now you don't have to use a poker chip, you can actually use a coin or even uh, you know, a small stone or um, anything that's kind of, uh, anything that's small that you can conceal in your hand. Here is the dirty work. The poker chip starts in your left hand because you need your right hand on the bag. So you start like this with the poker chip underneath as you're talking about um, the bag and uh, how you can make things appear from thin air. So you give the bag out to examination, they examine the bag thoroughly, they know there's nothing in there. You then grab it with your empty hand. It's all about acting like you have nothing in this hand. Now, um, you obviously three fingers here hold the poker chip and uh, these two fingers kind of like uh, lobster claws. Like now here are a couple tips on not getting caught with something in your hand. First of all, don't look at it. That's weird. The second, don't hold it too tight because if you hold it too tight, you're gonna be all tense and it's very obvious as to something's in your hand. Third, if you're standing up like this, make sure you don't stay like this and you know, make sure your hand kind of swings back and forth like this. This is a nice subtlety I use all the time. When I have something in my hand, if your hand kind of swings back and forth, it kind of gives the impression it's empty, okay? So, here's the secret move. You're going to look for the poker chip in the air Again, you're not looking at your hand, you look for it, you say, oh, there it is, you grab it. You look at it like you're a crazy person. Ah. <laughs> and you're gonna throw it in the air like this. Your head goes up and follows it, and as it comes down, that's the cool part of this illusion, is, is, the, is, the, is the audible landing of the poker chip in the bag, look. One more time. Oh, here it comes. All it is, is me snapping my fingers like this, with the bag, look. Pretty cool, look. See that? All I'm doing is I'm snapping my fingers, and with the action of my head coming down, it really looks like there's something landing in there, look. <whistles> then you look in the bag as if you see something, and then you reach inside with the poker chip, obviously you don't reach inside like this, you reach inside with your, your fingers to say, it's there. And then inside the bag, you have all the cover in the world to bring out the poker chip like this, right? So it looks like that. You reach inside, and then you take out your poker chip like this, and you go, One little comment if I can give to you. When you if you guys are too sure of yourselves when you perform this trick, it's kind of obvious. If you don't act surprised, if you act cocky or arrogant, people will see right through it and they're gonna call you on it too. So don't forget to act like this is the first time you've ever seen like <sighs> Crazy, it's here. Oh my God, it's crazy. I don't know, I don't know how this works. So the appearing poker chip, you guys can do this with any small object. Go out there, show your friends and family. I'm sure you guys will have a lot of fun with it. Don't forget, when you guys perform a magic trick, always be confident, but not cocky. Be excited, but not annoying. Like this guy. Uh, it's important to have your own style when you perform. If you guys have fun, it's almost impossible for your audience not to have fun. I really hope you guys enjoyed that. This is Eric LeClaire reminding you, when life throws you lemons, squeeze the juices in the eyes of your enemies. See you tomorrow. Almost done, baby. Look at the calendar. Almost done. Oh, look at this calendar. Oh, I'm excited. Oh, I'm so excited. See you tomorrow.
love that song. Why do you hate me? To herpes. To herpes. To herpes. To herpes. <laughs> 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 